Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video on the Tim Gullit channel and in this video I'm gonna explain you everything on how to create the perfect attack in the AFC 24. So obviously first of all we gotta talk about the tactics. This time we don't need to talk about the defensive style as we are only focusing on attack. We are playing a 4-3-2-1. As always build up play is on balanced, chance creation is on direct passing, the width is on 4 e 9 place in the box is on 5, corners and free kicks doesn't matter too much but it's on 2 bars. Instructions are even more important. For me, my right back is the one who's on balance. Do you want to attack on the left side of the pitch, then put your left back on balance. But for me I like to have my right back on balance. My left back is on stay back, my middle centimeter and my right centimeter are on stay back and cover center. My left centimeter is on balance. If you decide to put your left back on balance, I would recommend to put your right centimet on balance so it's not on the same wing. Then for my right forward he is on comeback, my striker is on stay central and for my left forward I don't put anything. I don't put anything on my left forward and right forward because if I break through down the left wing for example my left forward will be in the perfect space to receive the pass inside and that's obviously what I want. We're gonna talk about that soon. So of course in EFC 24 it's hard to recognize when you have a perfect attack but I think especially in a 4-3-2-1 that's a really good formation to recognize this attack and know when you are in a good space or in a good position to create a good chance. Obviously as we talked about your right back in my case is unbalanced. You always want to reach him. If you have a slow build up you just want to wait try to push up to make a switch to that right back. You will have all the time in the world. Most of the times you'll get in a 2 3 one situation and that's where you want to get into. As you can see in this first example, I switched the ball from Mendy to, in my case, Cancelo. I just get in a 2 3 one so easy. It's a pass to R9 inside. Then it's just all about finding the right man in the right time. As you can see, so many runs going forward in this formation. You just want to keep passing inside to the outside and the other way around and as you can see it's just easy it looks so easy it maybe isn't that easy but if you just know what to do in this formation it's so easy to create chance to score goals in this next example it's almost the same thing it's all about triggering your players at the right time let them make those runs and then it's just all about timing it right as you can see i sent cancello on a run here he is in versus tio normally tio should be stronger should be quicker but as I said, if the timing is right, it would just create easy chances. Here the L1 triangle pass is perfect. I get the pass inside. And as I already said, it's just about finding the right man in the right time. You see so many runs. It's just all about recognizing when to give a pass or maybe when to delay it and then to play it. In this third example, it's the same. I get into good space with Mendy. For my opponent, it's hard because he needs to defend Puteas, who is making the run, and me, so he needs to doubt. In this case, I decide to keep running. In the end, the pass inside will open up, and then it's almost the same as the first two goals. It's inside, inside. Here I have space for the power shot. It's hard to explain, but I think people in football also say a handball formation. And I think 4 3 2 1 is perfect to, to create this and overload your opponent on this box. Here, another example, it's all about the full backs. I switch it to my left back first, which is Mandi. In this example, my right back is Cafu with some balance. As I already thought, when you have a slow build up, make sure to search for that overlapping balanced full back. It's just a 2v1 here, I again decide to run, then go back to my midfielders, bottle, Trivella, easy go. And it's just all because I know when to give the switch, what is the timing, how do I get the 2v1 situation down the wing. And obviously once it is the 2v1 situation there, it will always be so hard to defend, even on pro level, because these are all in pro games. It's so hard to decide whether he's going to pass, he's going to run, he's going to shoot. You can do so many things, which makes it so hard for your opponent to defend. And this last and final example is almost the same as the second example I showed you. It's again about triggering the runs. Here I trigger Cancelo at the right time. I again create a 2v1 situation on the wing. My opponent, which is Lex, probably one of the best defenders in the world, doesn't know what to defend. And that's how I create a chance and score a goal in this case. So, I hope I showed you guys a bit how to attack in a 4 3 2 one and how to create the best attack possible. Make sure to like this video, drop a comment down below, subscribe. See you guys next time. Ciao.